I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes! Mom would kill me if she knew I was out here. Holy shit. This place is awesome. If I'm gonna get inside, I'll have to get through that door. Those excuses out of you. But it really wasn't my fault. You're always if I owed somebody a thousand dollars, I'd be shitting my pants. This RV's just begging for a little street art. But if I do it here, someone will see me. Now, what to draw? Definitely, absolutely not a meth lab. I'm sorry, officer. It says what on the side of my RV? Guess fire safety isn't exactly high on the agenda here. This place has collected a lot of junk over the years. Help you, miss. You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. It's not a bad fake, kid, but you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. Can't let him push me around. Should I go back and stand up to him? Or can something around here help me convince him? A second door inside? So close, and yet so far. Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. I'd join a motorcycle gang if I had any friends. Keep walking, kid. God, again? What do you want, kid? Is that your bike over there? Yup. It's, uh, pretty cool. Gee, thanks. Is that all? I have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? 
I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? Aww. Isn't it past yours? <laughs> Real cute. But I still don't know you. Look at my face. Do I look cute? Or do I look like I'm going to kick your ass? <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. Maybe I am a kid. Because this place looks like a damn playground to me. A girl like you? I can't protect you in there. A girl like you with pretty, pretty flowers on her bicycle shouldn't lecture me on what I can do. That is a traditional Samoan... <laughs> Look, my boss decides who gets in, all right? Is your boss your mom? Follow up. Do you live in your boss's basement? You're... You're not accepting no for an answer. Are you? Nope. <laughs> and you really think you can take me? Yep. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I had... You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> You're all right, kid. Go on in. This is intense! <laughs> Shit! Hey, Delia, come. Cute dog. Just follow the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. What's her name? Delia. <laughs> she doesn't usually like people. Yeah. Me neither. Right, well, that would help. No. 20 bucks, baby. 20 bucks? That's robbery. And don't call me baby. Fine. 20 bucks, thief. That guy's a dick. If I want a shirt, I'm going to need to get creative. No. No, 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 no. Look, we have to set this up exactly as I've explained it. Sorry, dude. Maybe you shouldn't overcharge. No, 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 no! Come on! Thanks for playing, Dick. Oh, yeah! Sweet, sweet victory. That's like 200 bucks. Holy shit, I'm rich. Damon Merrick again? Who is this guy? Yo, Frank, 
Hey. Chloe? I know your name, you idiot. You bought pot for me every month for a year. Look at that get up, <laughs> studs. You're trying too hard. What are you even doing here? I'm here to see Firewalk, man. They rock. How'd you even hear about this little shindig? Ha, the internet. How else? Seriously? Fucking kids. Okay, so you holding? I could definitely use something to take the edge off. Of course. As soon as you give me the 175 bucks you owe me. Toss in a dime bag and we'll call it square. Hey, hey! What are you waving around this kind of money here for? You really don't think before you act, do you? Nope. So where's my pot? No more loans. I'm not your fucking piggy bank. You're a good man, Frank. No. I'm not. Now beat it, Price. You're cramping my style. I'll see you later. Whatever. Half those stairs are rotted through. Looks dicey. Sit and spin. Much better. Here we go. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. Relax. You bumped into me, remember? Fuck off, man. Hey, you don't know who I am, do you? No. And I give zero shits. Hey, let me know how that works out for you, bitch. All right. Mosh pit is a no-go. Fine. Maybe I can get a better view of the action from up above. She returns. Did you see that guy I ran into? Acted like I was supposed to know who the hell he was. Ah, uh, yeah. I know him. He works for Damon. Damon Merrick? I see you've heard of him. This is his place. Damon's uh, a friend of mine. Where do those stairs go? Uh, up? Real helpful, Frank. I mean, will I get a better view of the band up there? How the fuck should I know? Floor above's rotted all to hell, okay? No one goes up there. Fine. I'll see you later. Whatever.
You spilled my beer, bitch! You should be more careful. It's a rough place. I don't like your attitude. Then how about I show you how unimpressed I am with limp dick assholes who get butt hurt over a spilled beer? I think she's calling us out, dude. She's gonna regret every word. Every word. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be good. I'm gonna teach this little punk some man. I'm serious. You wanna see me get angry here? Because I'm getting there. And it won't be pretty. It won't. She thinks she can take you? Rachel? Come on! Hurry up! Let me go, Frank! Not gonna happen! Calm down! <sighs> Come on, man! Walk away! Screw this! This is bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. Sometimes, all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. Daily rituals are important, even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you. Hey, Max. Hey, Dad. Another day in paradise. Right? Chloe! Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey! Last night, seeing Firewalk live, the skeevy assholes, that girl. Was that really Rachel Amber? They smell like cigarettes and beer. 
Better change clothes. Better living through chemistry. No more unicorns, no more princesses, and no more fucking rainbows. Words of wisdom, don't fail me now. Everything's worth a shot. Adapt or die. Can't leave without my vitamins. Uh, I really should get going. Shit, where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I said breakfast. Guess I better try calling my phone with moms. Okay, mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think I saw mom's purse in her room. Yeah, that really makes me want to hurry. Coming, Mom. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come.
Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what Mom wants before she strokes out. Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I serve them, he says, what are you gonna eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Firewalk? Is that the band you mentioned last week? I'm still bummed you wouldn't let me go. Mm-hmm. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? And I do know what pot smells like, you know. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe you're 16 and don't know what you need. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such- What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I, I guess. guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? You want me to pretend I'm okay with David? that everything's okay? I'm not. He's a chauvinistic piece of shit, frankly, Chloe, and- if your father could hear you, 
No, you're right. I'm sure Dad and the mustache would get along great. It's a big bed. There's room enough for all three of you. That's enough. All I'm asking for is a little respect. Why is that too much? I love you, Chloe. I miss you. Nobody could have replaced her father. I did the best I could. Mom. I don't know where I lost you. You didn't lose me. Right. David's waiting. He'll need the keys. They're in that ashtray you made me. Go be his problem now. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. Here they are. Let's get these to David so he can drive away. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I better get going. What a piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites the Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. Does Max picture me pathetically checking this mailbox every two seconds for letters that never come? Uh. No love for Chloe. Wait, isn't that a socket wrench right there? You deaf or just lazy? You said you needed your socket wrench. That's the 5 8 inch. I need the 13 16 inch extension, which is in the set, which is in the garage, like I said. Unbelievable. Whatever. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something?
Do these have chapters on hot wiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Fifty-fifty chance I smash him in the face with this. Sixty-forty. Maybe ninety-ten. If it's in my garage, it gets my special treatment. What message does David really need to hear? Got it. Hustle wouldn't have killed you. <sighs> See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Pop. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. How you do anything is how you do everything. Now I need a shower. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> You've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. Please. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck! We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Here, let me put that in a language you'll understand. Foxtrot. Uniform. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? Let me dumb it down for you. I mean, sorry. What has fewer syllables than dumb? Hey. Watch your... I can crap bigger than you, got it? Oh, that's what I smell. A giant load of crap. You... Your mother... You're breaking her heart. At least she has a heart. All you have is... What's it called when you've got one porn stash and zero game? I was in the army. You will respect me. You're not my father. You're not even on the same planet as my father. My job is to make sure you and your mother have a safe and peaceful home. Have you considered telecommuting? I feel like you could keep us safer from Florida. If you were a man, I... It's I'd... cool. 
If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you, either. Don't know why I bother trying. Mission accomplished. Country music? <laughs> Dad loved this song. I just called to tell you that I miss you, my old friend. Burning the midnight all again. What a beautiful day. Dad. Turn it up. I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. I guess mom left her purse back here. Picking up my lover from the grocery store. Hey. The hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Whatever. You're welcome. Hello, Black Hell. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. Who exactly is talking shit about me? You know, haters on social media. Great. I wish I could tell everyone to just get a life. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you wanna go together tomorrow? No way. I'd rather have my eyes gouged out with rusted forks. Yeah, right. Me too, I guess. All right, see you in Cam. Yeah, for sure. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class.
Last night's show was too epic. Firewalk forever, bitches. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. Hey, Skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. Oof. Looks like you did, though. Huh? Ah, right. Whatever. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicapped parking. Badass. Yeah, you know how I roll. So, I went to the mill last night, caught Firewalk live. Yeah, I can see that. Wait, you went to the mill last night? It was cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. What, like good music? <laughs> Preach it, sister. I'm in a band, actually. No shit, really? We're called Pisshead. It's not a big deal or anything. I mean, I mean, I'm trying to get our demo out there, but it's hard. Pisshead, huh? Would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. Yeah, okay. Great. What did you think? That was really good, man. If Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. Oh, right on. Awesome, Chloe, thanks. Morning, Miss Grant. Chloe, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Hmm. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. Science is all about discovery, Miss Grant. Guess you'll have to wait and see. With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well, the Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good, but instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. You don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support but apparently, our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. Maybe in another six months, a new donor will come along with money for, I don't know, 
More lasers. More lasers? Do we have any lasers? Sadly, no. That is sad. Stefan, my- If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's Cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Not really in the mood. Maybe later. You know where to find us. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. Got here, Twitch. Don't call me that. True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. <laughs> you're such a loser. Wanna take this elsewhere, guys? The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone! You know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! Hey. If you don't take the time to stand back and watch, you miss some of life's finer moments. Like... Booyah! That. 
<laughs> that took me months to put together. Quit the team, Twitch. Or next time it'll be worse. Go to hell. You should be ashamed. here. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time the harmony of their tongues... Hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors. And most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean... Does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Miranda's an idiot, because falling in love is stupid. <laughs> what is she, 12? Actually, she's about 15, so your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive is well taken. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. Should be doable, right? <laughs> <laughs> 